for a child to ask me, is that a gunfire or is that a firecracker? I thought that's a terrible way for a child to grow up, you know, being fearful of any noise like that. And that made me even more determined to say, I don't want to see my grandchildren growing up with that fear. Do you tell your children that they have to play indoors to save them from a possible stray bullet? And stay inside yourself, afraid to walk through a neighborhood park? Not that woman, nor quite a few others like her in Oceanside. January 6, 2001 is a bright sunny day down by the pier and Oceanside residents are getting ready to march, participating in the last ever Steps for Peace called a celebration of life. The crime rate has fallen dramatically since the mid-90s when the communities of Eastside, Crown Heights and Mesa Margarita decided to march together to create an awareness of the wanton destruction of lives and property and inspire a move for peace. Working with the Oceanside Police Department, several steps were taken to stop the violence, stop the gangs, stop the murders. But one of the first steps was a simple march. So we thought that as, as adults, if we could walk together and be together, maybe we could set an example to the children that, hey, it's not so bad to be together even though you live on the other side of town. While the adults organized the younger marchers on scooters, bikes, and skateboards, some with homemade personalized messages and banners, Oceanside Police Chief Michael Pullman expressed his feelings just before the march set off. We had some serious issues that it took a partnership with the community to resolve, and that feeling today, having seen that accomplished, is just a great feeling, uh, seeing what the community has done. The last Steps for Peace march begins from downtown Oceanside to the amphitheater. A short walk, but the journey to get to this last march was a much longer one. Our story begins in 1996. We're doing this today, trying to bring the communities together for peace in our city of Oceanside. As everybody knows, we've hit our record high with the murders and the, and the violence that's going on in this city. So hopefully together, bringing the communities together will help us to bring some peace and hopefully some uh, peaceful 1996. First of all, the stress that the, the violence that's occurred and the homicides that have occurred in, in Oceanside in 95 aren't just a neighborhood thing, that it's really a community thing. And we wanted to make a, a positive impact um, the first weekend of 96 to say that we want to have and encourage the entire community to come together and work together to make it a more peaceful 1996. Yeah, so if you do a peaceful action, who knows, that kid may be the one to, 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 to stop the gang violence. You know, people say, oh, you're just a dreamer. Well, you know, yeah, I am. You know, and, and it's possible. Anything's possible. Anything is possible if you have that faith and you believe. So I believe one of these kids could be the one to help stop that violence. We are here just to make our community better. We want better. We're not we're not going to stand for mediocre. We want to rise ourselves up and so that we will all be able to enjoy this beautiful city wherever we go, wherever we care to visit. As kids are so actively involved with this situation and have possibly the most to lose, their messages are the strongest. This young lady makes a special plea to her fellow teenagers. You have to start to take responsibility for yourself and take charge of your life. You know, it really doesn't matter what I stand up here and say or what anyone else stands up here and says because you're not going to change until you're ready to change. But how many of your friends have to die or end up locked up before you get the message? All that shooting and killing is just a dead end. Raleigh Burden Cooley, 38 years old. A white balloon for each person killed. Their names read out in a roll call and their balloon released provided a very emotional and dramatic moment. The juxtaposition of such a gentle-looking white balloon sailing through Oceanside's palm trees into the bluest of skies made the reality more poignant. These were, after all, someone's son, someone's brother, someone's best friend that had needlessly died. Today we're talking about peace. 
because los pasos de paz empiecen con usted. The steps of peace start with you. How? The individual. Cada uno de ustedes, si te miran los caras que los que se están asentado contigo, everybody sitting with you is the beginning of peace in your life. Hate. What is the opposite of love? The opposite of love is not hate. It is indifference. Cuando no hacemos algo, es cuando se pone peor. Do something in your life to change someone's life. This is why we have Steps for Peace. This is why we're here. Additionally, in 1997, Oceanside High School and Jefferson Middle School held a peace march called Stop the Violence, also honoring Martin Luther King's birthday. If just one person is saved today or tomorrow, then this is all not in vain. It seems like this means nothing to you, but some little children, child might look in the paper and read about this or watch on the TV and see this and it might make a difference in his life. It might make him think twice about making a bad decision. In 1998, there were only eight balloons to be released, an outstanding result from previous years. Yet each balloon still does represent a human life. DeMarco Celestine, Manuel Castro, Matthew Checky. There were several other important factors that helped bring down the crime rate in addition to the efforts of the community itself. A steadily growing strong economy was helpful, making more jobs available, that in itself taking people off the streets. Some public funding was made available to local clubs and organizations that provided positive guidance and educational or sporting activities for the kids in the neighborhood. What really started the turnaround, though, was some innovative and controversial laws put into place regarding gang activity. On November 24th in 1997, the San Diego Superior Court made a permanent injunction on Oceanside's gangs. Under threats of retaliation, some courageous residents had signed their names to sealed affidavits that described the crime and grief that gangs brought to their communities. The injunction was like a restraining order against these bullies that gave police a new tool to legally fight them. We thought that, that bringing in some civil remedies instead of just criminal remedies may have a very positive impact. And we're very lucky enough that uh, District Attorney Paul Finks, who was, had been recently elected, was willing to step forward. We were obviously the first one in San Diego County that did something like this, and we think it did work. It paid off. Uh, we went from 25 homicides one year to where this year, this past year, 2000, we have only had three. Something had to be done not too long ago. Under the direction of Concha Green, we took the first step to do something. The first steps for peace. The first steps to take action. Our neighborhoods are coming alive with good ideas. These steps for peace that you and I walked were the steps to a better neighborhood. The bad characters are out. They have lost their grip. So many different individuals and community organizations have given their time to take back control of the neighborhoods, unify the separate communities, and work together to provide the youth with constructive activities. And everybody gives each other credit, a true sign of a cohesive effort. We did not take these steps alone. With us was the, was the support of our police chief, the people of Crown Heights and East Side, learned that we can trust our police department. Our police department is the best in the county. Without uh, Chief Pullman and, and his 
police officers, I don't think we could have got a, too much of a handle on it. His participation, his, his willingness to listen to us, to let his officers come into our neighborhoods and to protect us and to do what they say to serve and protect, well, that's what his, him and his police officers have done for us. To only go, go from that 25 to 3, I think, is just spectacular. What has been done by the community working with us, by the officers who have given their time and effort to bring that all about, by the district attorney's office, by other sections of the, of the city working with us, it, it's just been great. The whole city of Oceanside should stand up and say congratulations to each other. Connie, did you ever think you'd be standing here in 2001 having just done the last Steps for Peace? No, actually, I, I, I wouldn't have thought that. I wouldn't have um, really believed that so much progress has been made in such a short period of time. I think that when we started this back in 90, 95, 96, that um, there was just so much going on in the community that, um, that we wanted to bring attention to. And um, there's just been a lot of, of activity in the neighborhoods and a lot of commitment from the residents in Oceanside that um, we've made a difference. There's been a major change. So I'm very surprised that we're at the point now that we don't feel that we need to be doing this annually to bring the attention to it. I was totally surprised that when she mentioned this was the last year, um, I was hoping it would keep going on and get bigger than it is because I know there's a lot of teenagers and other people in the neighborhood that could be involved. We're going to begin a community prosecutor program that uh, will be the first uh, city in San Diego County that is going to try something like this. Uh, we're starting this month. Uh, Julie Cord will be a deputy district attorney assigned here in Oceanside and work out of the, the police station, but actually work right in the neighborhoods. And uh, this is an innovative idea of us continuing to try and be part of our community and be part of the neighborhood. So that's one, just one of the things we'll be trying. My uh, feeling about it being the last one is not that good. I wanted it to continue. But Concha Green, the founder, has decided to, yeah, it's peaceful enough now. And I think it's, uh, eventually uh, we'll try something different some, to keep the community uh, improving itself, to keep the community motivated to, to continue to do uh, the, the civic action that's needed in order to improve the situation. Situations change, we'll get some, some other way to get the community back in here. We must continue to look at a good future in our neighborhood. We must continue to ask for citizen participation.